Hello. All right. Well, um, it appears that I've gotten another package, and that's super exciting. Um, so this one's come to me from Etherworks in, in Australia, and uh, I'm not actually sure what it is. I thought it might have been uh, Frosthaven, but this box is too small for that. Ah, it was my second guess. So this is all from uh, the company formerly known as uh, BoardGameTables.com and they just recently changed their name to something else. <laughs> uh, what was it called now? Um, hopefully it's on one of these boxes. They changed it to something. I think it's like Let's Play. It says BoardGameTables.com but I got like uh, two games from their last Kickstarter. So they did a, a whole bunch of Kickstarters um, in a row where they did about three different games. So this one I got Kabuto Sumo plus an expansion and I got this game which is surprisingly heavy actually. Um, on Tour Paris and New York edition and some uh, what do you call it? Kickstarter Extras. So this one is for a game that I didn't get. Because I did like three games in that set. And this one is for, I think, possibly another game that I didn't get. So maybe it was there more than three games. And that's for Kabuto Sumo. It's a peanut. And this one is for that um, Paris, New York on tour game. All right. And then I also, in the Pledge Manager, decided it would be really cool to get the other thing that they make besides board game tables and board games, which is a board game carry bag, um, which is something I've been needing for a long time, and I'm hoping it's going to be awesome. It's got lots of room to sort of stack up your games, and it's a backpack. It's a nice color, of purpley gray color. Different angles, different colors. It's nice. It's basically just a soft suitcase, but... Um, actually quite nice so and you can fit a good stack of games in there so this will be really good because I've been going to our board game group using shopping bags and um, it's a bit of a, a hassle so already right off the bat something good something very good all right so let's have a look inside some of these games see what this is all about I think I got these ones because I, I have another game from this company which was um, uh, what's it called? Factory Funner. This is actually a really good game that we played a bit this year. Um, and I thought, but I thought these ones would be good. They're smaller games. Nice thick cardboard. Like it's always good quality. I'm surprised with how heavy this one is because I thought it was just like a like a roll and write. And they've got some advertisements for their tables. It's just all visible here. It's a big stack of dry erase pens, two big dice. So as a because I backed the Kickstarter, I got these really fancy sparkly bonus dice. Very nice. And some big cards. Those aren't tarot size. I don't know what these that, that's called, but it's sort of a square version of that. And the reason the box is so heavy is because all the game boards um each player gets their own fold-out map of either New York or Paris, depending on which version of the game you're playing. So there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to guess on the box it should say one to eight players somewhere. One to eight players. 20 minutes time to play. Now is it 20 minutes per player? And just says 20 minutes. So that's pretty awesome. This one I'm hoping will be like a nice fun addition for 20 minutes that's perfect for our board game group because we usually only have an hour for that so that'll be good that's exciting i'll have to try this one out hopefully we'll have a review of it coming up soon all right so that's one whole game and here's another whole game kabuto sumo designed by tony miller art by kawan chai morai and this game is pretty rad 15 20 minutes gameplay two to four players and as you can see, you've got a little table and lots of these little discs with two little, um, uh, what do you call them, fighting beetles, like sumo, but they're like sumo. And the object is to push these discs onto there and knock your opponent's beetle off the table. 
just like when you fight stag beetles on a little table they kind of push one off the table uh, it's a very popular thing in some parts of the world namely Japan where sumo wrestling is also from and again a nice quality box I like the artwork it's cute um, and there's rules for the game ads for the tables quick start rules for the game baggies lots of different wooden pieces so there's your your I think that there's your player pieces so those are the you can have up to four players so there's a pink purple yellow and like aquamarine uh, turquoise beetles and then all the little discs and of course you can put random odd shaped things on there as well that I guess really affect the game and here's some punch boards and there's the table it's nice and thick the components of this which is good because this is the main playing surface so you really want that to be sturdy and then this is something to do with your players I'm not sure what those do but that's in the rules and if I can get out of there deck of cards with special rules I think for I don't know what these are, but lots of different characters. Maybe these are the all those other wooden things that are there. I don't know, what's this Calmarin? Lots of different Sisyphus. It's maybe it's um, those look like different rule variants for the game. Yeah, excellent. All right, and so I'll put that back in there. Get back to this in a moment. Do do. And then, that's not it, came with, this is the Kickstarter extra thing. So like a, a peanut that you can put on the board and rules for how that peanut. Andre the Goliath, anybody want a peanut? Stack three of your green discs, add the peanut to your inventory. Neato. So that can go in there for now. Hopefully I'm able to... Put this all back in here without causing too much trouble. Close the box. And then this was a, the Kickstarter. This game actually came out a while ago. And this is an expansion for it called Kabuto Sumo Total Mayhem. And this is just more um, game variant stuff. So if you find that you love the game, but you'd like to have a little bit more variety, um, it's good to add these sort of things. And this one comes in a much thinner box. I have to be careful with it because if I try to put too much pressure trying to peel this plastic off, it just um, crushes the cardboard. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to wreck the box. I don't know. Maybe I won't keep the box. Maybe all the stuff that's in this box will go into that box. But I don't even know. Yeah. Although this, this type of box doesn't generally last that long. All right, so it's got heaps of little bits and pieces, some rules, some punch board to make like a, looks like a coffin, cards with the rules variants for that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice linen finish on those if you can see it. I've made that mistake before where I thought something didn't have linen finish, finish and it did. Just about everything that comes out of Kickstarter usually has linen finish on it. But there's different kinds of linen finish. Because it's just a texture that's on the card. And you can change that texture. So look, we've got like little, all sorts of things. A table, oh look at that. So Jasper is one of the tables that Board Game Tables makes. What are they called now? I have to look that up. I think they're called, um, Let's play games, something like that. They've, but they've changed it from, because now they're making so many games. Um, instead of just board games, or just instead of just tables, they have to sort of um, expand how they describe themselves. All right, where are these going to go in here now? Let's put them back in the box.
All right, well, I'll have to organize these and do some playing. I have some uh, board game group days coming up to see what the kids think of these ones. And this is an extra for, it's really cool. It looks like cardboard money. And this is for like a, an, a picnic disruption game. Maybe play insects trying to invade a picnic. All right, so that's what it was. That was my surprise package in the mail for me today. On Tour Paris in New York, which is the second version of that game. And Kabuto Sumo with the Kabuto Sumo Total Mayhem expansion. Pretty excited to play both of those. If you'd like to check them out, we'll probably have reviews up, you know, sometime this year on our website and hotgamemagnet.com. Or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram Instagram under Hot Game Magnet. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, leave a comment below if you'd like me to have a closer look at anything or have any other suggestions. All right, um, until next time, Happy New Year, and have a wonderful day.